G'day guys. Um, I'm going to seal the tank today. We're about to go away on our holiday, so I wanted to do just a quick job. Now, you probably remember this tank. This was the one that was given to us, the one that we repaired this section on, which was successful. And um, the sender unit was no good, but the one from the original tank was good. I've just made a plug for this for now using the old gasket and a cork plug for the pickup unit and another cork plug for the vent because we are going to seal this tank on the inside. Now the tank's pretty good. I don't know if you can see it. I'll see if I can do this. The inside's got the usual mm, little bit of surface rust at the bottom. So what I was thinking, instead of risking it, clean fuel's pretty important in a car. I thought I'd try this um, rust, cleans it, converts the rust and seals the tank. Now I bought the motorcycle tank sealer kit, the large motorcycle tank. It does up to 50 litres. I think that's close enough. Um, they didn't have a car one in stock. I wanted to get it done. I think we'll be right. I'm quite confident we'll be right. I think we're five litres short, but that's we'll get that. Now, um, to prepare it, I had to seal these, which I've went through. We've sealed them up, sealed that up. Now we've got to mix the cleaner 50-50 with hot water. Give that a rinse, so I'll get that done. Then we've got to convert the rust with this rust blast thing. I'd say it'd be phosphoric acid, I reckon. Doesn't say, but anyway. And then when it's all dry, we tip the whole lot of this in. No stirring required apparently, you just tip the whole lot in, swirl it around till you get a nice thin even coat over the whole tank and let it dry. So we'll give that a go. I'm quite confident it'll work out well. And um, we'll start the process. So I mixed the, um, the stuff up, this uh, AquaClean 50-50 with hot water. I put it in a milk jug. I've tipped it into the tank. Now I'm going to seal the tank up with a bit of tape and I'll get someone to give me a hand to swirl it around for about 5-10 minutes and we'll empty it out and we'll try keep some of it in case we have to do it again. But um, I'll show you what it looks like once we do it. Hopefully I don't end up with this water crap all over the place. We'll see how we go. But I'll let it soak as it said for an hour or so. That was the water we got out of it. And that's after me putting chains, nuts and bolts through it. So it's pretty disgusting. So I think it's gonna work. I've had a quick look inside. All the flaky rust gone. All that's left is just the actual little bit of surface rust, which will seal over. So now I'm gonna let the tank dry for an hour or so put it upside down on an angle, I'll let it dry out, manage to scratch it, that's good. Um, that's all right, I can touch that up, it's not a big deal. Then um, we will put the rust converter in it, I'll make it dry, I recommend putting a heat gun down there, I'll do that, I'll put the rust blast in there, let that sit for an hour or so, as recommended. Okay, I've just finished the rust conversion process. We'll see. As you can see, it's definitely worked. The tank is pretty spotless, actually. That rust is just the surface rust. That's what we're going to go over. It's not very thick. It's a bit of remnants. Now, they say to rinse it with warm water. So I'm going to tip some warm water in there. Give it a rinse. I'll have some lunch, let the tank dry, then we'll finish this off, do the sealing, and um, we'll see how we go. But as I said, that was all pretty thick when we started. That's the whole point. You're not going to actually get rid of it, I think. You just can't. You can't get rid of that rust, unfortunately. But 
Look, even as it is, it's a pretty clean tank. I'd be happy to put fuel in it as it is. None of that's going to fall off. You can see there's no flakiness. When I drained the actual stuff, it came out very clean. I mean, there's hardly anything in there. So that's good news. So now I will tip my warm water in there. Um, which me make a mess of this. So I'll tip that in there. I say just to give it a rinse. Just to boot, I heated up the kettle a bit. Okay. That's probably hot water. Still. I think it helps with the conversion process. I'll seal this up, give it a shake, a rinse, then I'll let it dry. Right, I'm just about to drain the tank into this bucket. No doubt I'll miss and make a mess in the garage floor. That's all right. Jeez, this water ain't warm, it's hot. Anyway, there we go. blue actually it surprises me straight after that treatment it's now a million times cleaner there's a bit of steam in that in there I'll see what I can do but take my word for it it is absolutely spotless in there I've got a feeling these tanks are galvanized I think they are so I don't even I think it'd be good enough like this. Look, we'll run the sealer in just to stop the rust, I suppose. We've got it now. So I might see if I can stick the light in here. There we go. So there's that. You can see the bucket. The corners were, were really bad. Now yeah, they're, they're pretty clean. I mean, it looks worse in the camera. They're just virtually like stains. But if you can see the edges are all clear, doesn't leak. Had it filled with water a couple of times. As you can see in there, I think, yep, there you go. It looks all right. I have um, coated the tank with this stuff. Amazing stuff, I've got to say. It's pretty good. Now, I was a bit concerned about not having enough. Do you remember I only got the motorcycle tank kit? For Land Rovers, I think it's fine because the tank is square. It's like rectangular, it's not a complicated design or anything like that. So as you can see, look all the way around. I even got the top, obviously I can't film the top, but without being smart, it's, you know, even if it dries like that, petrol doesn't stink, I mean, doesn't stick to it. And that doesn't come loose. It is a absolutely sealed up tank now with no rust, no anything. We should get nice, clean fuel out of a 50 year old tank so it's a success would i recommend it yes is it cheaper than buying a new tank probably yes but you probably need a day definitely get a heat gun to heat the tank up to dry everything you need air you blow the water out um, be methodical don't rush it um, Definitely enough with the motorcycle thing. So I think this kick costs about $70 Australian, which is not a lot really. So it's a large tank. I reckon 45 to 50 litres it'll do. Um, it did this comfortably, easily, no problem at all. I've probably got, you know, I haven't got heaps left over, but there is left over. I didn't skimp. The top's done, the bottom's done, the sides are done. I managed to get a little bit over myself as well. So. We'll pack this one away, we'll put the um, the uh, pickup, we'll put the sender on and the tank is done.